Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Well, I was answering another email. A gentleman by the name of Mike wrote in and said, okay, I've made this little joint. Now, it's kind of a tight little angle down in there. I don't have any of your fancy tools you know, for like cleaning up that weld. And he said, all, all we've got is just like a little Dremel. Any advice? Anything you can help with? Well, sure. So all you got is a Dremel. Well, Dremels, they normally only run an eighth inch shank on whatever kind of tool you want to use, you want to spin in that Dremel. A lot of times all you get are like little stones, you know, and those don't last very long. They'll just, they just disappear real, real quick. Well, here are carbide, solid carbide burrs. Go out to the um, carbide, carbideburr.com. That's where these came from. Great bunch of folks out there. They can help you out if you need it. But a bunch of eighth inch shank, different shapes, different lengths. Uh, single cut and double cut. Double cuts cut quicker. Single cuts, they only have you know flutes going in one direction basically. So that'll help. You know, you get rid of the stones, you put a carbide burr in there instead. If you've got a decent air compressor, and I'm not talking about a great big you know industrial one, but you know something with like a 30 gallon tank on it, it should, should be fine. This is called a pencil grinder. It's an air powered Dremel, basically. Sounds exactly like the thing the dentist uses on your teeth. So, yeah, ouch. Mm, makes you grit your teeth just a little. But it'll run the eighth inch burrs. You can also find them in the industrial size. <laughs> this one's called a die grinder. Basically the same thing. It runs quarter inch burrs. Bigger diameter. You know, so, bigger shank bigger heads, more work, you know, more cutting surface, so you can get work done quicker with it. And they're just air powered rather than electric. They don't get hot in your hand. You can use them all day as long as you got a compressor to keep up with them. And these are some of the bigger quarter inch shank burrs. Steel, steel, and these two are for aluminum. These just have bigger flutes, more aggressive, you know, for, for the softer metal. Get the job done a little bit quicker. If you try to cut aluminum with either one of these, you'll just gum this up. You know, the aluminum will just stick right in there and you'll just have a big glob you know, before you know it. But let's say you don't have an air compressor or a big air compressor. You don't have something to run air tools with. Well, here's a real handy little detail sander that I found that, quite frankly, I use the heck out of this thing. This is from the good folks over at Makita and it is a uh, 9082 detail belt sander. It's only three eighths of an inch wide. So for like reaching down in a tight joint someplace, you can come in from the side on the flat surface, get this edge in here to clean it up, you know, any little spatter from the MIG or from a stick or something. You can reach all the way down into that joint. If you don't have a big enough fillet in the bottom of the joint, just add one more pass. Pick that surface up a little, then you can come in with the roller on the end, and you can just reach right down into that joint with the end of this thing, and just work it back and forth, and round that weld off inside, and just have a real nice smooth surface. So Mike, I hope that answers your questions. You know, gives you a little better idea what to do when you're down in a hole like that, trying to smooth things off. I'm gonna go get out of this, get a cold drink, you guys are going to pop out to Facebook, Kevin Carone Studios. Come like me out there. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next week. Getting down into some of the other tight little places. Oh, you know? I'm sorry, I didn't really do that. Me neither.